Hello everyone, welcome to Big Data Thoughts. Today we are going to discuss how to become a DevOps engineer or what are the skill sets that are required to become a DevOps engineer. Now we have been hearing this term of DevOps or DevOps culture for a long time and for a variety of reasons because it has a lot of benefits as compared to how devs and operations teams were working in silos, DevOps definitely brings in a lot of advantage. So this is kind of a very hot skill to have and this is a very good lucrative role that is there in the market. So let's talk about what it takes to become a DevOps engineer. Let's get started. So first of all, I will just quickly uh, refresh the concept that we saw in one of the videos that I did on DevOps. What is DevOps? DevOps at a very high level is a combination of development plus operations. So development involved a, def a separate team which used to do the coding and the testing after understanding the requirements. Operations team's job was to do the deployment <coughs> of the application into different environments and then maintain it. Merging of these two in a single team is or adopting the DevOps culture is practically where both of these uh, teams come together and have a single responsibility to develop, test, deploy and maintain the application. So this is DevOps. <coughs> now let us look step by step at what are the skill sets that are needed to be a DevOps engineer. So first of all, the first step is development which comprises of coding and testing. A DevOps engineer definitely needs to understand how a code repository is used because everybody who develops a code would check it into a version control system that can be github gitlab bitbucket but regardless of that the concept basic fundamental has to be known to a devops engineer in terms of how a code repository works what are the different type of for example git is most prominent so what is the git workflow how the code branching strategy is done how merging is done. So different commands used, different concepts within a code repository needs to be known. It is good to understand about, let's say one or two of them and then you get, get to know how it operates. You can use any of the version control system. Second thing is to understand the application configuration. Whatever application the DevOps is deploying, the, the DevOps engineer needs to understand what are the configurations required for that application. And how will that happen? Because ultimately the CI CD pipeline would be created and everything will get automated starting from check-in of the code to deployment to delivery. So it is important to understand the repository, the workflow, the application configuration, also the testing part of it. Like how will the regression test run? How will the integration testing be done? Because all of this eventually will get automated through the pipeline. So it is important to understand that concept. Then comes the infrastructure. Now infrastructure means there will be a server that would be set up for the code to be deployed. So it is important to understand mostly these servers are Linux servers. So Linux fundamentals should be clear. A DevOps engineer should understand Linux fundamentals, should understand shell commands because there will be a need to write shell commands. There will be a need to use CLI. Because all of the cloud vendors provide a UI, but when we actually do the development, either we, uh, so we are using APIs as well as we are using CLI for running our program. So CLI, uh, it is important to understand shell command, CLI, Linux fundamental, as well as how to set up a server. That needs to be understood. So if I give a specific example, if we are using, let's say, uh, Hadoop, Apache Bear Hadoop, then it is important to understand how that whole cluster would be set up, how will the configuration done, how would we enable password let key exchange. So these are just some examples but overall a server setup needs to be understood. Then comes network. On the network side there are a couple of things that have to be done like opening up of ports, setting up of firewall rules, understanding how the load balancer would be set up, how the traffic would be balanced how what is a dns how does it work so these are some fundamental things on the network side which a devops engineer needs to understand so till now we are only talking about the concepts i'll come to the tools in a bit but 
mostly these concepts should be absolutely clear to a devops engineer on the security side it is important to understand how the authentication authorization for the application would work because in most of the cases when we talk about uh, organizations there will be an active directory right which will be configured to do the authentication because we want single sign on we want authentication to be done and we don't want every time a user to enter username password right so those kind of scenarios it is important to understand how that integration would work the ad integration or how would single sign on work how will the authentication work and then the authorization part which user will be entitled to what actions after which there is containerization is something which is being used a lot these days and a devops engineer's main responsibility is to take the software to uh, and release it to different environments so software packaging how will that packaging be done what which package manager would i use which how would i actually do that packaging of the software and give it to different environment that needs to be understood containers of course container fundamentals what is a container how will the container be managed how will virtualization work these are some fundamental things that need to be understood because some way or the other we'll be using docker or kubernetes to do container management so these need to be understood then coming on to the most important aspect any devops engineer today will not do things manually they will automate and they will use tools <coughs> for example for build whenever the code is checked in into a repository there will be a building of that code which will be done by maven or gradle or npm will be used so these tools need to be known if it's a java application you will definitely use maven or gradle you will use a package manager so that's how these tools are important to understand then package manager it can be npm or any other that how that release would be packaged and a package manager would be used that needs to be understood whatever we are building is known as an artifact for example in docker there is a artifact repository where the artifact is checked put in so the concept of what an artifact is how it will be packaged built and put in an artifact repository all that needs to be known and automation goes without saying so nothing of this will remain manual because you can't scale up if you are doing things manually so that whole ci cd pipeline and most prominently used one is jenkins so you can use jenkins to automate this whole pipeline from check in of code to delivery into environments so it is important to understand build tools at least one of the build tools packaging artifact artifact repository and automating this through a ci cd pipeline or using jenkins so jenkins is the most popular tool if if the devops engineer learns one of the tools it is good because you know the fundamentals and then you can use any other tool but essentially it is good to know one or two tools now another thing that comes in is infrastructure as a code these days nobody goes and sets up servers or environment or cluster manually so there are all the cloud vendors provide vendor specific services for example amazon gives cloud formation templates you can actually automate this entire setting up configuration etc or azure gives you arm templates azure resource manager templates so there are different ways of doing it but essentially any one of the cloud if you are using or the devops engineer is using can look at how infrastructure as services done it is important to understand the whole configuration and set up that infra so for setting up the infrastructure people are using terraform that is the most prominent one for config configuration after you do the setup most prominent tools are puppet chef and ansible so it is good to know terraform and one of the configuration tools because infrastructure as a service or infrastructure as a code is an extremely important part for a, for any devops engineer for even the C, so ci cd pipeline building and building setting up the of the server using infrastructure as a code is extremely essential now after you have checked in the code you have built the package you have released it to environments then comes the maintenance part like i said in the beginning that there are two parts to the operations one is deployment second is maintenance maintenance is like a infinity uh, circle because if you see devops sign also it is infinity because this 
होल थिंग गोज ऑन एंड ऑन बिल्डिंग ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन डिप्लॉइंग गेटिंग बग्स और डूइंग सम एनहेंसमेंट्स अगेन डिप्लॉइंग अगेन मॉनिटरिंग सो इट गोज ऑन इनफाइनाइटली मॉनिटरिंग बिकम्स अ वेरी क्रिटिकल पार्ट बिकॉज द डेवॉप्स इंजीनियर नीड्स टू मेक श्योर दैट द एप्लीकेशन इज रनिंग एट ऑल टाइम्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन हाउ क्रिटिकल द एप्लीकेशन इज यू कैन डिसाइड वॉट इज द डाउन टाइम इफ एट ऑल इट इज पॉसिबल और नॉट बट ओवरऑल अ नेटवर्क दैट एंटायर नेटवर्क हैज टू बी मॉनिटर टू सी देर आर एनी नेटवर्क इशूज एनी मशीन गोज डाउन इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू लुक एट द मेमरी आर इज द मेमरी सफिशियंट हाउ इज द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन एंड देर आर मल्टीपल टूल्स इन द मार्केट लाइक प्रोमेथस नैगियोज दीज कैन बी यूज टू मॉनिटर द ओवरऑल हेल्थ ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द फंडामेंटल थिंग्स टू बी डन बिकॉज दिस विल हेल्प इन प्रीएम्पटिंग वॉट प्रॉब्लम्स कैन अराइज एंड फिक्सिंग दैम so this is all about monitoring that needs to be done and last but not the least is it is good to know one of the scripting languages because scripting will come in handy if we have to write scripts for backup for archival for these kind of things we need scripts so it can be python is the most widely used language it can be ruby it can be powershell it can be bash which are os specific but essentially python is very widely used so scripting knowledge really helps a devops engineer so today we spoke about what all a devops engineer should know it may look a bit overwhelming but as when we start doing it and we start learning the tools it becomes easy it is just about learning the concept first and learning one of the tools so that we can use any tool that is there in the market and that the organization is using So I hope this video helps you to get a bit of overview of what it takes to become a DevOps engineer. And thanks everyone for listening in. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next videos. Thank you.